What's going on YouTube? This is Petrol Juice here and today I have another exciting mod we're doing today and I'm pretty stoked for it. We are putting in the AFE Takeda cold air intake stage dose. Stage two. Love the packaging they have in the box. It's super, super cool. This is fairly an easy install. All we really need is a pair of pliers, a 10 millimeter socket, a ratchet, should take roughly about half an hour if you really know what you're doing, maybe less. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna switch to my GoPro. It's a super easy install. Let's get it done. All right, so we're switched over to my GoPro. Uh, the only thing you're really gonna need to get everything done is a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, Phillips. And of course, there's a truck right when we're trying to talk or it's a school bus. Anyways, steps you sort of wanna do everything is remove this here to expose the air filter. And this is sort of like a ratchet system or a lift system. So just get that out of the way. Use your 10 millimeter socket to loosen this. That there as well. Use a clamp or pliers to remove this hose. This hose as well if you haven't done so already, but I already did. So I'm just gonna be removing that out. And a Phillips to remove this. That takes this whole system out and then you're all set. I'm going to try to reach this with my uh, ratchet. I don't know if I will be because it's too far down and I don't have this further of an extension. So if you don't have that far of an extension, try to use a regular wrench and try to reach down there and loosen these bolts. Let's get started. So what I've decided to do in order to reach down there with my extension is I'm also going to loosen this portion here with my Phillips. Don't want anything to drop in this engine bay, so we're going to take our sweet time with everything. So this is a clamp, right? So once you loosen this clamp, there we go. Drop something in the engine bay, great. Right. All right, so I removed that out of the way anyway. So we have this loose screw here. I'm just gonna be very careful when I take this out and look for whatever I just dropped. It's a black lug. So we're gonna try or hope that we could find that after. So anyways, let's move on. That shows that we all make mistakes. Life is all about mistakes. Okay, we've got one screw here. I'm gonna put it to the side. All right, we're gonna continue moving our way back. So again, since I removed this anyway, this is that $5 BPV delete kit. Just gonna remove this. Oh, there we go. And this should come right off. Perfect. Remove these two to the side as well. We're gonna use a pair of pliers I have here. Remove this clamp. Might be easier to take this off so we're gonna remove this as well now we have room that is on there pretty good damn there we go it's gonna be very tight because this was on there pretty good this is my first time taking this off so you might have some trouble just take your sweet time taking this tube off all right, so this tube was very, very hard to take off. I used a plastic pry tool. I guess it adhered to here pretty easily, so I just sort of went really hard, dug right under it, and pushed it out the best that I can. Just seems like when it's OEM and all that heat's going on the rubber, it adheres to here pretty well, so it was like glued, sort of. But basically, once you get that off, you're all set there. Grab your Phillips, and remember to hold this in the back, because that's what fell in the engine bay for the first Phillips screw that I took out. So that is not fun. I'm still gonna have to look for that one. So this is what fell in the engine bay before it was a washer. So I have to look for that. So please be careful when taking that out. Let's put that to the side over here. in there pretty good that's pretty loose it is boiling hot out all right got three clamps let's put them to the side I'm sweating bullets Whew. I don't know if that's loose I don't want to take it out just yet I don't want to expose the engine we're gonna continue taking this out one right here, one that we took out, 
and one right there. That's going to be the harder one to get to since we do not have an extension. And I'm working with what I got here. And it's cheaper than paying someone to install it. It's almost out. We need to take out these grommets here. Just push these in. Just like that. Use your plastic pry tool. And just remove them like that. There we go. Those are out, plastic pry tools. Put them right there. All right, I was able to reach it. Loosen it up basically with the uh, ratchet. And I use this to fully take it out. Let's see if I can reach it with my hand. And I can. Just twist it to the left. And boom, third one's out. It should be able to come right out. Just like that, baby. We're moving up in the world. There it is. That son of a ah, The washer that fell. Make sure to be careful when taking these out, guys. All right, let's open up this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Whoo, this is nice. We got to put this bad boy together. So we do get our own clamps in this, which is nice. Instructions, who needs those? Beautiful. Pretty strong. This looks important. We're probably gonna have to read the instructions for that. So big side of the silicone tube goes into the inlet. Just like that. Make sure that is all the way on, all around. So that's done. That's gonna look pretty good. All right, let's remove this tube. There we go. Old tube is out, baby. Out with the old, in with the new. I probably should have put this together prior. <laughs> it's all right. So the instructions also say to transfer these grommets that are in the stock intake. So we're gonna transfer these bad boys over. One by one. Nice. Put them on like so. Just like that. Make sure it's on correctly. And this goes right in between. Just do that for all three spots. All right, so one of them is gonna go inside. Don't forget, one of them is gonna go inside right here. Let's put that bad boy right in. Just stuff it in there. It's rubber, it'll be completely fine. There you go. Now to put the third. All right, this wasn't as bad. All right, once that's all in, you transfer the three grommets. All right, now that that's transferred over, we're pretty much done with the box. So we're gonna leave the box there and move on to this bad boy. And you're also gonna put in this tube here Make sure it's nice and tight. And in the instructions, it does say this gap here is gonna be normal. Just get it in nice and tight, but not too tight. Just make sure it's hand tight, and then you're all set. All right, that's pretty much hand tight from there. That's not going anywhere. All right, so again, it says that gap is normal, so we're gonna leave that the way it is. All right, so the next thing it says to do is to install the clamps. Now for this, you also need a flat head. Once you tighten, I put this over the first area right here. All right, so from here, you're just following the whole process and just going reverse. It's pretty much that. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're leaving it loose for now. Next thing we're doing is putting this right back on and this is tapered so just like that there you go just bring that forward 
and that stays in place and it is sealed and that is not going anywhere now we're going to move on to the box this is going to use the same screws as before which are these bolts right here remember there's one inside and two on the outside with the new uh new intake let's get to work ladies and gentlemen it's just like playing legos oh yeah have this in the way so that's probably why it's not going in let me fix that there we go that's a little bit better so i moved the race chip out of the way the holes are aligned and we're good to go might as well do the inside one first let's get that done i'm just going to loosely put everything into place for now now for the final one here we're still going to utilize the BPV delete kit put this right back on so if you have one you can reuse it there we go we're gonna actually put that on last keep that to the side we use the two new grommets supplied it's not these these right here these bad boys aren't going anywhere just like that just like that we're gonna get back down to screwing everything back in We'll start with the one on the outside. Now for the one of the final parts here, we're going to put the air filter in. Put it right in. Oh shoot, almost dropped that. And then we're going to put the clamp on as well. But that's going to be after we I just forgot. We got to tighten the last one in there. So let's do that. Whole thing is not going anywhere now that it's all tightened let's go ahead and put the filter which is one of the final steps we're still not done yet put this inside secure it in it's got like a bunch of rivets not rivets but tabs i should say and Maybe we shouldn't have put that on first, because now I have to put the intake in. Let's take this out for a second. And that's why we don't tighten anything just yet. Damn. Whew. All right. That's in. Make sure this is in too. It is uniform all around and good to go. Damn, that was insane. All right, so once you have that in, again, just make sure everything is secure. Looks good. Now we're gonna tighten everything up and then we're all set. All right, and just hand tight everything. Make sure it's not going anywhere. All right, so once you tighten these two, put this together, put back this tube if you don't have the BPP delete kit or a blow off valve in this case i have the bpv delete kit and put this right over that's all set last thing we need to do let's put this back in place actually as well just tuck that right in here and that's where that's gonna go that's the side that's good last thing we're gonna put is the rubber piece and guess what? After that, we're all done. Only took us about an hour. And just like that, the AFE Takeda Cold Air Intake Stage 2 is installed. It took me roughly an hour to do everything, but uh, the hardest part also was putting this rubber uh, lining in. It's very, very tight, which is good for the seal, but it's just very, very hard to put in. But I took my time. This took me about like 20 minutes to do. What I ended up doing was using the back end of my screwdriver and just pushing it in and that seemed to help out it is longer than what you need so i mean it's going to create a seal anyway once you close it's not a big deal we're gonna do a little sound test i'm going to tighten everything up make sure it still sounds good it's, no leak it's no leak or anything and i actually am gonna do that right now all right now that we're all done see how she sounds
right, it's on. Tighten this, tighten that. This is good, I tighten those back there. Should be all set to go and give it a shot. Oh, that sounds louder. Wow, it's a lot more poppy in the exhaust too. That's insane. Let's switch over my phone and record in the front. That definitely sounds louder. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna take it for a spin, see if you can hear it from the inside. And uh, it definitely sounds louder in the exhaust and in the front with the air coming in. It sounds a little bit more mean. Let's see how it sounds. it almost makes the exhaust sound a little bit louder I guess because it's getting more you know air more oxygen more pops let's see again oh yeah you hear the downshifts a lot more tune that I have it feels like now it's complete you know with the piggyback tune with uh, race chip this really does feel a lot different it feels great exhaust intake tune perfect combo Pulls hard, got wheel spin. It's a perfect combo. Guys, intake exhaust tune is the way to go. I'm telling you. Don't think about it twice. This is a fantastic trio. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. Um, you know, it's a little bit tiny of a fuel upgrade, nothing crazy, but the sound is different. It's just, you could hear it a lot better in person. Um, again, this is the AFE Takeda uh, Stage 2 cold air intake. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.